veteran actor John Hurt has received a knighthood in the New Year honors. The 74-year-old was appointed for his services to drama after a career lasting more than five decades. Actress and writer Joan Collins has been made a dame, along with poet laureate Carol Ann Duffy, TV presenter Esther Ranson, actress Kristen Scott Thomas and fashion designer Mary Quant. TV actors James Corden and Sheridan Smith also become obes for services to drama. Corden, who rose to fame in Alan Bennett's History Boys, said he was thrilled, overwhelmed, and honored to be recognized in such a way. My family are very proud. My mum is already fretting about what to wear. Hurt's career has seen him go from a bit part in TV series Z Cars to Oscar-nominated actor for his roles in 1978's Midnight Express and 1980's The Elephant Man. He was recently seen on the small screen in Doctor Who as the mysterious war doctor. Collins, who is best known for her role as Alexis Carrington in the 1980s U.S. soap dynasty, was made a dame for her services to charity. The 81-year-old is involved with a number of charities including the NSPCC, National Center for Learning Disabilities, Action for Sick Children and the Shooting Star Children's Hospice. Collins said she was delirious, thrilled, excited and very honored about being recognized for her charity work. There's nothing to compare to being a dame and getting that kind of accolade from my country and my queen. I am very patriotic and quite a royalist so it is extraordinary, she told BBC News. Collins added, I did get an OBE a few years ago for services to drama, so to have this for my charity and philanthropic work is wonderful. Ranson becomes a dame for her services to children and older people. The TV presenter and campaigner set up Childline in 1986 to highlight the issue of child abuse and the Silver Line, a helpline for older people addressing loneliness, in 2013. Scott Thomas was previously made an OBE in 2003 and is best known for her roles in Four Weddings and a Funeral, The English Patient and Gosford Park. She will play the Queen in a new version of Peter Morgan's play The Audience next year, possibly coinciding with her investiture ceremony. This is an immense honor that I could not believe was really for me, she said. In fact, I thought someone was playing a trick. But it's true, apparently, and I am thrilled, astonished, and worried that I might suddenly wake up. Sheridan Smith's honor follows her acclaimed TV role as popular entertainer Scylla Black on ITV. She won Olivier Awards for her roles in West End musical Legally Blonde and Terence Radigan's Flair Path and in 2012, she played Ibsen's tragic heroine Hedda Gabler at London's Old Vic Theatre. Other figures from the world of arts and entertainment to receive honors include Knighthood David Veery, Chair, The Art Fund, for Services to Arts Philanthropy CBEs Alan Davey, Chief Executive, Arts Council England, for Services to the Arts Richard Jones, Opera and Theatre Director, for Services to Music Ali Smith, Writer, for Services to Literature Mira Sial, actress and author, for services to drama and literature. Roger Wright, chief executive, Aldebug Music and lately director, BBC Proms and Controller, BBC Radio 3, for services to music. Obes. Janetta Lawrence, lately associate director, Royal Ballet, for services to dance. Faith Liddell, director, Festivals Edinburgh, for services to the arts. William Nicholson, screenwriter and author, for services to drama and literature. Emily Watson, actress, for services to drama. Tony Aja, controller of archive development, BBC, for services to digital media. MBEs. Paul Cummins, the artist behind the Tower of London ceramic poppies, for services to art and World War I commemorations. Jamal Edwards, Founder and Chief Executive Officer, SBTV, for services to music.